Pregnancy loss is actually fairly common. 50 to 60% of pregnancies will actually result in miscarriage. If you talk about clinically recognized pregnancies, maybe as many as 25% of these will result in miscarriage. So recurrent pregnancy loss is actually um, a condition that affects about 1 to 2% of the population. These are women that experience two or three um, miscarriages back to back. And typically this will exclude your biochemical pregnancies, your ectopic pregnancies. So it's a fairly common condition. Um, it's one of the most frustrating things that I think that we deal with because in 50% of cases, we don't ever identify a cause. There are various causes of recurrent pregnancy loss. These may include genetic problems, so some sort of chromosomal problem with either of the parents. And most commonly, these are things like um, reciprocal or balanced translocations. Um, there can be causes such as anatomic causes. This will include uh, your congenital uterine malformation, so your septate uterus, your bicornuate uterus, things like that. Even things such as fibroids and scar tissue within the uterus or Asherman syndrome can result in pregnancy loss. The most common condition would be antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. And in this particular condition, patients are prone to developing blood clots. So the way that we actually treat these patients or approach these patients is putting them on a baby aspirin. And then with pregnancy diagnosis, we actually put them on a blood thinner to help uh, prevent uh, pregnancy loss. And that's very effective as a treatment. Um, things such as hypothyroidism, uh, poorly controlled diabetes can result in pregnancy loss. So these are things that we typically will test for with this condition.